Good evening. The controversial new county law that makes it a crime to harass first responders is under fire tonight from the very people the law is designed to protect. The Monroe County Executive just signed the law on Monday. Today, every police agency in Monroe County has come out against it. Kayla Green is here now to explain why. Kayla? Maureen, James Van Brederode, the Monroe County Chiefs Association president, says all the police departments agreed weeks ago not to enforce this law. Those against it say it's vague, unconstitutional, and racist. Officials from Denolfo's office say law enforcement had their chance to share concerns and didn't. It's a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Rochester City Council President Loretta Scott is one of many echoing this sentiment today. Cheryl Donolfo signed the anti-harassment bill into law on Monday. Scott says annoying a first responder could mean anything. This is annoyance, which is so broad and so vague, it could mean anything to anybody. So we don't believe that that's something that we can codify and punish someone for, since we don't exactly know what annoyance entails in this in this case. Rochester Police Chief LaRon Singletary released a letter today saying the RPD will not make any arrests while the law is under legal review. Jesse Sleazer from Denolfo's office says the timing of this criticism is unfortunate. I would imagine, and I think some of the uh, chiefs and officers have indicated, um, that they do feel uh, caught in the crossfire, I think uh, was uh, a phrase used by uh, member of law enforcement earlier today. We're sensitive to that. Um, you can certainly understand that uh, to the extent that they, um, you know, feel a need to, uh, you know, potentially not become involved in a very passionate public debate over this law, understanding that it may not be in the department's best interest. We understand that. Rochester Police Union President Mike Mazio says until it's resolved in court, there's no sense in using this law. I think what happens with these things, all of a sudden the police becomes pawns in... Maybe something that was well intended, maybe something that was politically motivated, uh, and then somehow police officers are put in the middle um, and questioned about it on this sense. Sleazer says no criticisms were voiced by law enforcement when the bill was first introduced. He adds other counties have reached out looking to replicate the law in their communities. Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. Punishment under the law includes jail time and up to a $5,000 fine.